Hey everyone, uh, this is your boy, Bryce Hansen, and uh, David Doy, uh, your boys. Um, we have some bad news to share with the listeners and lovers of Horror Movie Talk slash Horror Movie Talk Plus. Um, I wish I was joking, but David has decided to leave the show, and as a result, the show is going on an indefinite hiatus after the Burbs episode coming out on October 4th. Um, we don't have any plans currently to uh, publish new episodes after that. I've, I've, um, and I'll go into more details of what the possible future of horror movie talk may or may not be. Um, but as of now, just consider it like we don't know what's going to happen, and we're not going to get any episodes for the time being. Um, and so, um, I'll let David explain what what's going on with him and and uh what went into the decision hey guys you know i don't have uh i don't have anything prepared uh it's kind of weird as bryce as you were introing this news i was i was struck with how i had nothing I, like I, I didn't. I don't. I like it. Just my, my mind just went blank, and I was like, "Oh shit, the, what am I going to even say?" Um, I, li- I, it's which is so. It's I. It's hard to explain to people how strange of a feeling that is. After sitting on this mic for five years every fucking weekend, and you know, being yes and and <clears throat> laughing and um. It's a very strange feeling to, to, to walk up to a mic and literally have no, <laughs> be like, I don't, um, uh, anyway, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, we, we recorded the after pod last week, um, and then turned it off and then David, you know, uh, needed to talk to me and, and just basically told me that he was done. Um, so, and that, so no one else has heard that. So basically, I mean, you can just tell him how you told me um last week yeah i um i just i i've i've started a new a new venture a new uh chapter of my life and it has taken up a lot of my energy and time uh i return home at night tired and i fall asleep in my chair and um you know uh when i had to watch the burbs for the 10 millionth time, uh, I, I just was like, I don't, I don't want to do this. I can't, I can't have this homework ahead of me tonight and, uh, you know, and struggle to stay awake and, and whatnot. But, um, but it, I had had this feeling vaguely creeping in and then it just hit like a ton of bricks with the burbs. Um, so the burbs did it. It's the burbs fault. Um, still strong nine out of 10. Um, oh, oops. Oh, that hasn't released yet. It will release. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I, I will say, um, horror movie talk has been the most important part of my life in a very important part of my life. If that makes any sense. Horror movie talk taught me, um, how to try and succeed, how to try and fail, how to be okay with um, people saying mean things to you about you, um, <clears throat> and and to just and to just block them out and be like oh, and to be sad for those people. <laughs> be like, I feel sad for the person who's so angry that he has to take it out on me. Because, and there's been a lot more of that lately. Um, and it's because of the decision I made to stop watching horror movies. And, um, and I get it. Listen, I do get it. Uh, you come to horror movie talk for talk about horror movies. And I, uh, you know, I couldn't do it anymore. And so, uh, I, I, but this process, the people I've met, the people who have supported us, um, Bryce, like, 
this is like the coolest chapter that I've had so far. And you're all very important to me. Especially Bryce. And over the past week, I've been very worried that by stopping horror movie talk, Bryce will be mad enough at me that he, you know, um, that it will make things difficult between us. Um, I have a lot of faith in our friendship, though. Um because we've been through the extreme highs and the extreme lows together. <clears throat> and everybody yeah, in terms who listened of, in terms made of, that possible. <laughs> in terms of arguments or disagreements or like uh, straining of our relationship, this is probably pretty light, you know, pretty light lift, to be honest. But, you know we are in the midst of it so it's going to be awkward what for a little bigger? while <laughs> what was bigger than that jesus for you? <laughs> um, let's not get into it Ugh. yeah i don't want to reopen <laughs> old wounds um but listen we couldn't have I, I couldn't the start of this thing was amazing the middle the creamy center, <laughs> also amazing. The end, amazing. Like, every part of this thing has been so cool. Like, like we get to work with super cool artists, Dustin and Fart, and uh, people who, and, 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 you know, Max and Mark, people who have been helpful and passionate about the thing that we do and just patting us on the back, which I don't feel like I deserve. But, um, and then everybody who reaches out and says, you know, you, you listen, um, it makes a big difference, you know, and we get to talk to you and learn who you are and, you know, have a good time. And I will definitely, um, miss all that. Um, I will miss <clears throat> everything. Um, Yeah. So, um, just talking about kind of some of the reasons for uh, like the indefinite hiatus. Um, um, like I wish I could give more clarity on what's going to happen, but all I know is that for the foreseeable future, uh, I'm not going to be, um, recording new episodes. Um, first and foremost, like <laughs> one of the reasons why it has to go on hiatus is we're out of backup episodes. Uh, we burned through those this summer. Um, and more importantly, I'm burned out. Um, I've got some personal stuff going on this month that's further depleted my energy reserve. And, um, you know, like I, I'm not able to push through and keep things going as usual. Um, I honestly don't know if the show's going to be back. Um, I don't think it will work with just me or with me with interim hosts, like a, like a rotating, you know, host that I can, you know, reach out to, uh, we've seen the numbers and what people really have been tuning into was the chemistry between me and David talking specifically about horror movies. Like that's, that much is very clear. Um, I don't know if that can be duplicated, um, and I'm not a really big fan of putting out a shittier show and watching what we've built slowly degrade um, in terms of quality and in terms of listenership. Um, to find a, like a permanent replacement is a really big ask between the time commitment of doing weekly episodes as well as all the patron Patreon content. Um, so if HMT comes back, it'll likely come back with a stripped down <clears throat> Patreon at the very least. Um, I'm not sure if we'd be able to keep up the weekly schedule. 
Um, I mean, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, to the patrons, uh, I am pausing October billing uh, since we won't be able to put out all the promised content uh, for October. We'll see what happens there if I if we return <laughs> in November. I might pause it again. Uh, we'll see. I've got stuff to work through um, and you know strategizing to make. It really sucks because October is the worst worst month to go on hiatus. It's our <laughs> it's our absolute best month every year. It's like insane. Um, hey, it's it's a you know we start. I started making bad decisions this year. It's time to keep that train right. rolling. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough. I, I remember in in the Facebook, someone in the group was asking, like, "Hey, are you guys going to cover the the Flanagan series, House of Usher?" And Dave was like. I don't know if they can get us uh, advanced screeners. And I was like, <laughs> you could well, just answer... say no because the answer is no. There's no possible way I could get you to sit through 10 episodes. And those were such heavy lifts. And so I'm hoping well, that, that some of those no, will. See, see uh, with, uh, Flanagan is one of those things where I would have, I, just because it, of the emotional way, the, just because I like his angle on things, I... I think I would have enjoyed sitting down. I, I think I will probably watch it. So, I mean, it is horror, isn't it? Again, like I watched the Terminator. I watched the Burbs. You know, it's. Um, yeah. I mean, it's. This is all you know, just based on. And you know, but it may be. It might be with the Flanagan thing that at some point I just go, I don't like this, and then I get, and then I get to just turn it off. Right. You yeah. know, that's nice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to have that option, like in in October, of like, oh, I can just watch whatever horror movie I want, or rewatch movies that I like um, that we've already recorded an episode about. And I don't have to feel guilty about, you know, wasting precious movie watching time, movie watching bandwidth on worthless horror movies. <laughs> God damn it! It would be Halloween five six. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, let's let's sit here. I gotta go to horror movie talk and see which one. I think we did uh, four last time, didn't we? It would, I check us out fun. over at horrormovietalk dot com. <laughs> see our. Uh, I think I think the uh, series we've covered the most sequels on is either Paranormal Activity or Halloween. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a close call. Okay, so we got Halloween. So it would this this year it would be Halloween five. Yeah. Um. And we've done Halloween Ends, where we review, where we interviewed James Jude Courtney. Halloween Four, Halloween Kills, Halloween Three, Halloween Two, Halloween One, Halloween tw- Twenty Eighteen. God, mm-hmm. for people who claim not to like Halloween, we sure are. <laughs> yeah. So, um. That's that's the status. Uh, we're kind of in stasis right now. Um, again, the last show for however long is going to be this Wednesday. We're reviewing the Burbs. It was voted on by the patrons. Um, I just want to take some time to, you know, I don't know if this is going to be the, the last thing we ever record, so I better take some time to thank people. Um, I do want to thank the the guest hosts that have come in the last couple months while while David um has been opting out of horror movies and I don't want to make it sound like um like when I say you know doing the interim hosts um I'm worried about the quality with interim hosts like I don't want to to underplay the the um contribution that the guest hosts have had and I think they've all been great um a lot of really good stuff comes out of that i think it's a really tough spot to come in as a lot of them are just kind of fans or listeners of the show and aren't used to um being the outspoken voice of opinion and they're here here for the ride um but i i do want to thank everyone that's come on um i think we've had some really great shows um with dustin and max and fart um Jordan, uh, I'm probably forgetting 
some other people. Your wife. My wife. <laughs> um, so, like, you know, the idea at the time was, like, let's, you know, maybe audition some guest hosts and see how it works. Like, one of the things that was very apparent is that people are busy. <laughs> like, it's it's yeah. hard to find people that it's can a lot just... to ask of someone as it turns out right hey can you w- go out of your way to find a movie can you watch it a couple maybe you know maybe once or twice and then and then give up your whole saturday morning to come and talk about it yeah it's like fuck it's like a pretty like i i use like five hours as a round number i'm not even sure how accurate that is used to be it used to be a lot longer <laughs> For us, you yeah, and like me. a five hour a week commitment. So, like, two hours to watch a movie, sometimes four hours to watch two movies, and then two hours to record an episode, and another 40 minutes to record an afterpod, and then all the, you know, uh, all the uh, secretarial work around posting stuff. Ugh. Um, it's, it, it's, a it's a time commitment and it's, we've been doing it for five years and we've never missed a Wednesday. That's, never. that's kind of, that's what kills me is come <laughs> October, <laughs> October, what is it? 11th will be the first time that horror movie talk has ever missed a Wednesday post. Um, uh, I think the worst we've ever done was like post it in the afternoon maybe yeah a couple um, hours late so it's that kind of kills me like that that's pretty rough but i just don't know how to get around it it'll be ironic if like my if like my underlying ocd is like i'll just record an episode myself <laughs> <laughs> next saturday i'll be like i'll just you know we'll see how we'll see how they like it with just me because that'll be easy <laughs> um but yeah, I want to thank everyone that's been a guest on on the show. Anyone that we've interviewed, uh, not that they're listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not. I don't think James Jude Courtney is is listening. Is an avid listener of horror movie talk. <laughs> um, I really want to thank our Patreon members. Like, this is the one thing that's like just blows my mind. Anytime I give half a second of thought of, of it, of like people like what we do and they like us enough to pay us a little money to support us in our you know endeavor i mean it's hasn't really grown bigger than an than in kind of an overblown hobby to be honest like it's not a <laughs> um like a super impressive enterprise but it's enough to um, with the help of our patrons to really be able to expand uh, and like employ a couple people to to help with the effort and, and improve the show and and like there are most obviously most supportive fans and have gained a lot of friendships uh, through patreon um, created all, a lot of content for patreon and like, I am just so grateful for them, yeah. Um, especially you know the long term ones. I think we we still have a couple that are from the founders club that signed on at five dollars when we started our Patreon. Yeah, and uh, they get access to everything because we love them in particular. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't. Uh, it it feels you know the the patreon members and the listeners like it feels bad to disappoint them because they do love us and they do show that love frequently and you know i do love them and it's the same thing it's like i don't i feel bad that we can't do the thing that they love you know um and i'm gonna you know if we don't come back i'm definitely gonna miss the the long time listeners like we've had people with us since since the beginning you know i'll I'll forget a lot of names but gabriel um 
just signed back on as a patron, I think. And she was one of the first people that talked to us on Facebook uh, when we opened the Facebook page. And that was really validating because we were like, does anyone do these numbers mean anything? Because we're getting yeah. like a little over 100 listeners maybe a week. And we're like, are these real people? Like, are these bots? Like, we have no idea. And then eventually we're like, what should we do to grow? Like, maybe we should, like, actually post something or uh, do something on social media. And I think people started reaching out to us and saying, like, hey, you know, I'm a listener and really like what you guys are doing. and Or, like, asking us if we'll review a movie. And that was amazing and we've built you know friendships with complete yeah, I, strangers that are just reached out and like what we're doing you know um, i mean keith harris has been has been with the show for fucking years yeah works r- incredibly hard does incredibly good stuff r- writes some of the best blogs i've ever read like he's and comments on every youtube video <laughs> And, you know, I mean, these people, all of, all of you have been, uh, wonderful. Yeah. Except some of you. Uh, but that's why I wear my, uh, my sunglasses to block out all the haters. (laughs) Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. The people that we've talked to and, and gotten friendships with, like. Got Rojo from the Bronx. Rojo, Jason. Robert the Farter. Robert the Farter. Glittercore. Glittercore. Anna. Holy shit. Like Beatrice. Anna yeah, has I'll... a tattoo of our logo. <laughs> oh no. On her thigh. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> oh no. Like I like uh, I really don't want to disappoint her. <laughs> like and she's such a sweetheart. She's sent us multiple care packages of licorice from the Finland. from the east beast from know? the east oh, man. bugsy oh, let's not forget Bug- bugsy bugsy dude um oh man i'm i'm losing so many names i i'm so, I'm so upset with myself but oh cj you know, everybody who called in oh my god i mean people fuck, and and like the Sam. fact that we have listeners that have contributed significantly to the culture of the show i mean we mentioned robert the farter but fucking magnus uh-huh. bring it and like um who's the what was the other name who's the was, fucking who's the fucking guy that started with that gay uh movie um beyond the grave oh beyond the grave yeah i love you you're the but wind like, beneath my wings i mean i think without Jackal. the listeners we would have never had the the bats rats duo episodes <sighs> magnus holy shit magnus oh my god yeah um, yeah the the characters we've met throughout the years uh it's amazing yeah it's amazing uh, robert the farter if i i will say that the google voice number um six eight two two five three four four six eight just remains so yeah i mean i, I if anything i guess i can say for certainty there will be another horror movie horrors episode at the very least. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of calls in the coming weeks. Um, and I will definitely do a follow up episode to answer those questions or feel those love, calls. I would love to get to talk to. Yeah, this is the, like I. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. I'm Elizabeth. sorry. I'm sorry that I can't keep going on without David, without skipping a beat. But I'm gonna skip um, some big beat. beats. Um, I mean, I'll tell you, like, I'm leaning towards like assuming it's not gonna come back, just because breaking the streak is has a big psychological effect on me. Um, but I will say like, I really don't want it to end. Like that's, that's the thing. Every time I think like, 
it's probably best to have just a clean break and say that's it for horror movie talk and then just like you know keep it clean and less mus- messy like i've been every time i think that i think in my head like i can i could keep it going i can just even if it's shitty even if it's just me i can make it work maybe like 25 listeners will keep keep listening <laughs> I don't know like it's it's been such a defining accomplishment for me for the last five years of saying like I'm a podcaster like I and I feel proud of what we've built to just like stop it it's like I can't what's gonna fill that podcast shaped hole in my heart and I don't think there's anything for me yeah um that I can identify that'll fulfill it um and especially something that'll fill it in the same way as like doing something with a, you know, a best friend and having a common goal and doing it consistently and growing, growing it with each other. Like that's, that's just going to be real hard to replicate. Um, you know, I, I, a big part of my decision uh has been a shift in the in in the way i think and um and i don't know a couple months ago 6 months ago, something like that i uh i just had some sort of epiphany where i uh where i didn't uh i didn't value putting my opinion on something anymore i just stopped um caring whether or not people knew what my opinion was uh if that makes any sense uh it uh i used to think at the start of this i was like ah i want to i want people to know like i have good taste (laughs) and and i should say things about so that people can know like Mm -hmm. the things i think because they're important (laughs) and that went away uh it just it just like turned into smoke and and uh and I don't care anymore. Uh I don't I I very infrequently I I've noticed this across the board on a lot of things that I do as I just uh hold back uh, instead of say the thing that's on my mind all the time. Um and uh and that's been very freeing in a lot of ways for me uh, cuz it's a burden to feel like you have to get your your words out there um and so i it's when i don't feel as though my opinion holds any value it's hard for me to continue sharing it with you guys because it's a joke to me now it's like <laughs> well who really cares and the answer is like barely me so why would you uh, um so that that's a a part of a big part of of why this is left my interest Mm -hmm. well this is a goodbye um definitely to david might be a goodbye uh for both of us um we love you thank you for sticking with us for five years thanks for being patient in this uh indefinite hiatus um um definitely feel i mean we're still around like i don't i'm not gonna disappear into the ether like the facebook group and social media stuff all exists It'll be interesting to see what happens to the facebook group like that yeah. the facebook group will blow up about this yeah today yeah yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. I'm I'm kind of curious about the the reaction, and I'd be lying if I said the reaction will contribute to you know how I think about <laughs> going forward. Um, will or won't? It will. I yeah, mean, it it's, will. I mean, that's like the the thing. Like I. I think we've we've uh, uh, expended some goodwill in the last 
couple months. Um, well, I mean, definitely some people have stopped listening. Well, definitely you, David. <laughs> um in in just the the form of numbers like it's like uh, i i think um you know from the reviews and stuff people are a little frustrated and so i don't i don't know how they're going to receive this if this is going to be just like yeah i guess this is coming down the road and it makes sense or if it's like no please don't please don't go you got to keep doing it we'll do anything i'll suck you <laughs> <laughs> I'll suck your dick. I will suck your dick. I will suck your fucking dick. I will do it. Just join my team. I'll suck your dick. You can fuck me or get fucked by me. You can watch me fuck something. Just point something in the room and I'll fuck it for you. Come on, just tell me what you want me to fuck. Jesus Christ, MacGruber. Just tell me what you want me to fuck. Um, so... I will miss the drops. I mean, to be honest with you, the <laughs> the whole podcast was a ruse for me. It was a facade to get to play drops at appropriate moments. Mm -hmm. It was, that was my favorite part. It's still my favorite part. I love it. <sighs> All righty. I think that's, everything that we needed to say right is there anything else i love you bryce i love you david the end is this the end of horror movie talk <laughs> the end question mark are you gonna play an out no that's it Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.